Okay, so here's a quick one for that question eight on a complex example of naming a hydrocarbon. So the very first thing we do is we want to have a look at our molecule. And one of the things we notice is that um, so this is a compressed structure that C's, all of these C's are saturated in their bonds. In other words, they all have the maximal four bonds attached to it. There's no double or triple bonds. Okay, so we want to identify first, um, we want to identify our functional group. All right, so by looking at it, what we can see is that we have no, it's just carbons and hydrogen, so it's a hydrocarbon, straight. There are no double bonds or triple bonds, and that means that this is an alkane. So the next thing we want to do is we want to identify the number of, not the number, we want to identify the um, the longest chain. Now, there's all sorts of um, instincts here, but I'll just do it quickly. If we go this way, we can see we've got the longest possible chain, and there are seven. which means that this is a heptane. But there's more going on than that, so it's not just straight heptane. So now we want to identify the functional groups. Not the functional groups, sorry, the um, side chains. So we've got one there. That's a methyl, because it's just one. That's another methyl. There's another methyl, and there's another methyl. Okay, so that's four methyl groups. Now, all right, so that's four methyl groups. So that would be tetra, tetramethyl. Now, we need to number them. And we want to number it so we get the smallest or the lowest number possible. If we go from this way, we're going to end up with this being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that will give us um, one, sorry, two, three, six, six. So if we go the other way, we'll see what happens. That gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's gonna give us the lowest set of numbers because it will be 2, 2, 5, 6, tetramethyl. So now we've got everything identified and numbered. We put it all together. And we have 2, 2, 5, 6, tetramethyl heptane. Now what you'll see is it's all one word. It's commas between the numbers, um, hyphens between the numbers and the, and the letters. And yeah, we're done.